The Janitress. Item number SCP-9090. Object class Thaumiel. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-9090 must be transferred to a different site once every blank months. SCP-9090 at all times needs to be referred to as Janitor Blank. Although it is not dangerous to refer to SCP-9090 as anything else, but note that SCP-9090 will not respond if referred to by anything but Janitor Blank. Description SCP-9090 is an African-American woman around her late 40s, measuring at about 4 foot 11, 1.5 meters. SCP-9090 is noted to have many anomalous properties, such as she purposely or accidentally cannot be harmed or damaged in any way by any entity, object, or force. When any entity, force, or object attempts to cause harm to SCP-9090, example, a bullet fired from a gun, an unpreventable and unpredictable event will occur, stopping the said entity, object, or force from harming SCP-9090. For instance, a piece of the ceiling falling and diverting the bullet from hitting SCP-9090. So far, by all means, the Foundation has even utilizing SCP blank, there has been no way found to damage or harm SCP-9090. SCP-9090 is not affected by any mind-affecting anomalies or mimetic agents, such as SCP-012, SCP-099, SCP-513, and SCP redacted. SCP-9090 can't in any way be removed from this universe. When SCP Blank was utilized to remove SCP-9090 from existence by researcher Blank, who was immediately terminated afterward, SCP-9090 disappeared for about blank seconds before reappearing. When SCP-9090 was questioned on where she went, she stated, What are you guys talking about? I've been here the whole time. Other than this, SCP-9090 does not have any anomalous properties herself and refuses to harm any living creature or sentient object, even if SCP-9090 doesn't know or can't see the method the subject is being harmed by. Addendum SCP-9090 was found at site blank, mopping the hallways when two facility guards found her and asked SCP-9090 for her name. When the two facility guards did not recognize SCP-9090, they thought she was an intruder. They produced to attempt to terminate SCP-9090, which caused a data expunged, causing the two facility guards to expire and blank SCPs to breach. Interview between SCP-9090 and researcher blank. Begin log. SCP-9090 was cleaning SCP blank before leaving to go to the cafeteria. At that point, Researcher Blank approached SCP-9090 and began vocalizing with SCP-9090. Researcher Blank, wait, excuse me, Janitor Blank, I would like to have a word with you. SCP-9090, well, what is it? Researcher Blank, do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? SCP-9090, not at all, go on ahead. Researcher Blank, well, okay, when were you born? SCP-9090, well, I was never born, I've always been here. Researcher Blank. Wait, what do you mean? Don't you have parents? SCP-9090. Mm, nope, not that I can recall. Researcher Blank. Um, okay. Next question. How long have you been working at the Foundation for? SCP-9090. Well, how long has the Foundation been around for? At this point, Researcher Blank seems confused. Researcher Blank. The Foundation has been around for over 200 years now. Why did you need to know that? SCP-9090 I needed to know that to tell you that I'm over 200 years old. Researcher Blank Oh well, um, uh, sorry, I'm just having a hard time understanding this. Anyways, where do you come from? Researcher Blank was then interrupted by SCP-9090. SCP-9090 Look, just listen, okay? If you want to know where I come from, I'll just tell you now. I've been here at the Foundation and, sure, I'm not that often noticed, neither does anyone have any recollection of me, but I've always been there. Always there to do the things no one else is willing to do because it's too easy or it sounds boring. But people like me know that these jobs need to be done and that's why I'm here. Although I won't last long once everyone forgets here leaves this place, or they just find something better to do, I'll cease to exist. Not literally though, I'll still be here, there just won't be much left of me. All I am is a memory, once I'm forgotten. Once everyone is forgotten, 
and once this godforsaken place is forgotten, will be nothing more than a memory. And until that day comes, I'll just be here, in the background where no one notices me. Just the things that need to be done. Researcher Blank didn't say anything after that point. SCP-9090 Oh, sorry, I've been rambling on. My bad. <laughs> Anyways, I think there was a mess in the entrance zone I needed to clean up, so bye. SCP-9090 runs off, presumably to entrance zone. End log. Test log T80788-9090. Cross SCP termination testing for 9090. Item SCP-012. Termination test record. SCP-9090 entered SCP-012 containment cell. SCP-012 was slowly lowered down and remotely opened. SCP-9090 didn't seem to react to 012, only being concerned over the fact that there was apparently too much blood in 012's cell. SCP-9090 then proceeded to clean SCP-9012's cell, but never tried to wipe off the blood from SCP-012 itself. Item SCP-173 Termination Test Record SCP-9090 proceeded to go into SCP-173. SCP-173 at the time was facing the northeast corner of its cell. While SCP-9090 started cleaning SCP-173's cell on the opposite side of SCP-173. After 15 seconds into SCP-9090's cleaning SCP-173's containment cell, the cameras were momentarily turned off. Approximately 5 seconds after the cameras were momentarily turned off, there was a sudden malfunction in SCP-173's containment doors, causing it to open. SCP-173 was able to breach containment and killed over blank personnel before being contained. SCP-9090 seems to have no idea that SCP-173 actually escaped its containment and was still cleaning SCP-173's containment cell over the whole incident. Note, it seems that SCP-173 didn't interact with SCP-9090 in any way. Once the door malfunctioned, SCP-173 immediately breached. Item, SCP-096, Termination Test Record, Data Expunged, Caused Major Damage to SCP-096's Containment Cell. Other than that, neither SCP-096 nor SCP-9090 seem to be harmed. Item, SCP-300, Termination Test Record, SCP-303 Manifested Behind the Closet, Where SCP-9090 Gets Its Cleaning Supplies From. When SCP-9090 saw SCP-303 behind the door, SCP-9090 stated, Hell, they're letting these fucking monsters roam around the site now? After 7 seconds of SCP-303 looking confused at SCP-9090, it manifested and SCP-9090 went on her normal routine. Item SCP-682 Termination Test Record Data Expunged this resulted in the death of over blank personnel, and almost the complete destruction of Site Blank. SCP-682 was found with 80% of its mask on, weighing in the middle of Site Blank, and was presumed to be immobilized. SCP-9090 was next to SCP-682, cleaning up the surrounding blood. Note. Yeah, no, let's never let SCP-9090 interact with SCP-682 again. For the love of god, it was all going well until SCP-9090 just had to say, Redacted. And then, data expunged. Now the whole site is a shit show. Item, SCP-953. Termination test record. SCP-9090 entered through the front section of SCP-953's cell. When SCP-953 spotted SCP-9090, it went into its natural state and presumably tried to fool SCP-9090. SCP-953 moved a sufficient amount to SCP-9090, but before SCP-953 could vocalize, SCP-9090 started petting SCP-953. When SCP-9090 started petting SCP-953, it seems to become docile and somewhat playful towards SCP-9090. This went on for several hours before SCP-9090 left SCP-953's cell. Note, SCP-9090 noted that, I love animals, but I really want to meet that cute fox again. Item, SCP-106. Side note, this wasn't more of a purposeful termination log, as it was an accident, 
when SCP-106 breached containment and SCP-9090 happened to be the nearest one near SCP-106. Termination Test Record SCP-106 came through the wall 10 meters away from SCP-9090. When SCP-9090 saw SCP-106, 32.31M, Scorosive Abilities, SCP-9090 started screaming at SCP-106, stating, Ah, you fucking piece of dog shit. Do you know how fucking long it's gonna take to get that shit out of the walls? SCP-106 stopped for a few seconds before walking towards SCP-9090. Before SCP-106 could reach SCP-9090, however, the intercom went on and announced the breach of SCP-106 from Officer Blank. While Officer Blank was making the announcement, there was a loud crack sound heard through the entire facility. After this crack sound, Officer Blank emitted a loud scream and sounded like he was in some kind of pain. This alerted SCP-106 to Officer Blank location and data expunged. Item SCP-9090 Termination Test Record SCP-9090 picked up a gun and Internal System Error Field Undefined Please contact System Error Field Termination Log Does Not Exist Error 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 Error. File has been updated. Last updated, January 23rd, blank. Latest update, February 23rd, blank. Addendum. This termination log was found near SCP blank after Officer Blank found it patrolling the SCP. The termination log had a note on it which states, I didn't mean to do this. I just wanted to be free, be out of this hell I call a body. But instead, now I'm here. I imagine this is what hell is like. Nothing but emptiness. So alone, no one left, everyone is gone, there's not even any stars or planets, just void. Please, if you're reading this, don't let this happen to your reality too. Note: After the termination log was found, SCP-9090 must now go under physiological therapy every two to three weeks. She must also have SCP-5927 with her at all times.